USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. Some Democratic lawmakers, including the top Senate Democrat, who viewed conditions at some detention centers at the southern border over the weekend, they've come back saying that they saw horrific conditions. And President Trump and other Republicans say they're glad the Democrats have finally seen the light. Senator Martha McSally, an Arizona Republican, saying... Glad the Democrats and uh, Chuck Schumer finally see there is a crisis at the border. They need to come to the table now and work with us to solve it. President Trump's actually praising the Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer after he visits the border, saying on a tweet that he'd like to set up a meeting with Schumer ASAP. The heat wave blame for at least three deaths is finally starting to break. Some strong storms could reach into the eastern seaboard today, signaling a change in the weather. This is USA Radio News. Eight people injured when lightning strikes Florida's Clearwater Beach yesterday afternoon. One of those victims in critical condition after suffering a direct hit, causing him to go into cardiac arrest. Another six of the eight people suffered burns. Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens passed away last week at 99. Today, his body lies in repose at the U.S. Supreme Court in Washington. Justice Elena Kagan saying it was hard to fill his shoes when he left the court. She also says he was a brilliant man with legal gifts and talents. Which he combined with a deep devotion to the rule of law and a deep commitment to equal justice. A funeral for Stevens is tomorrow, and then he'll be buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Amid ongoing tensions with Washington, Iran claims to have shut down a spy ring, saying it arrested 17 people who'd been recruited by the CIA. And this is USA Radio News. Credit reporting company Equifax is agreeing to pay as much as $650 million to settle state and federal investigations into an enormous data breach in 2017. It compromised 143 million Americans' personal information right down to Social Security numbers. Three original NASA videotapes of the Apollo 11 moon landing sold at auction over the weekend for over $1.8 million. The tapes put up for sale at Sotheby's 50 years to the day after the historic first steps on the moon were recorded. The tapes have a runtime of nearly two and a half hours. They show the entire moonwalk as Mission Control viewed it. The Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, has six new members after the Sunday inductions of Mariano Rivera, Edgar Martinez, Mike Messina, Lee Smith, the late Roy Halliday, and a soft-spoken man by the name of Harold Baines. More on his induction from USA Radio's Rick Vincent. He tells the MLB Network. Well, you ask me why I never up was been outspoken. Or said very much. Think of my dad and a lesson he passed on me many years ago. Words can be empty. These be slaves, and sometimes they echo forever. He played 22 seasons for the White Sox, Rangers, Athletics, Orioles, and Indians. He was a six-time All-Star and twice won the Outstanding Designated Hitter Award. And for USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes.